So in this video, we'll derive the remaining sum and difference trig identities. So what we'll need is um, the odd and even um, cosine formula. So the cosine of negative theta is the cosine of theta. And the sine of negative theta is negative the sine of theta. And then we'll also use the sum and difference formulas that we've already derived. So the cosine of beta minus alpha is cosine of alpha cosine of beta plus sine of alpha sine of beta. And the sine of beta plus alpha is equal to sine of beta cosine of alpha plus cosine of beta sine of alpha. We've derived those in some previous videos. So what we can do is take the cosine of beta plus alpha and rewrite it as the cosine of beta minus a minus alpha. And so now we can use the identity for the cosine of the difference, which is going to give us the cosine of minus alpha times the cosine of beta plus sine of minus alpha times sine of beta. But then using our odd and even identities, the cosine of minus alpha is the same as the cosine of alpha, and the sine of minus alpha is minus the sine of alpha. And so this gives us a formula for the cosine of the sum of two angles. We can do something similar for the sine of the difference of two angles. So the sine of beta minus alpha is the sine of beta plus a negative alpha. Okay, using our formula for the sine of the plus of the sum of two angles, we have sine of beta cosine of minus alpha plus cosine of beta sine of minus alpha. So then we use the odd and even identities. Cosine of minus alpha becomes cosine of alpha, and sine of minus alpha becomes minus the sine of alpha. And so this gives us the two remaining sum and difference formulas for cosine. So the cosine of beta plus alpha, cosine of alpha, cosine of beta, minus sine of alpha, sine of beta. Sine of beta minus alpha is equal to sine of beta, cosine of alpha, minus cosine of beta, sine of alpha. For the sum and difference formulas for trig, um, we use the sum and different formulas that we've derived along with the quotient identity. So we look at the tangent of beta plus alpha being sine of beta plus alpha over cosine of beta plus alpha. We then use our formulas for the sine of beta plus alpha to expand this so it becomes sine of beta cosine of alpha plus cosine of beta sine of alpha. In the denominator, we've got cosine of beta, cosine of alpha, minus sine of beta, sine of alpha. The next algebraic trick that we do is we factor a cosine of alpha times cosine of beta from the numerator and denominator. So we factor out a cosine of alpha, cosine of beta on top. In the first term, we have a cosine of alpha to give, so that one just gets factored out. But we don't have a cosine of beta, so that ends up in the denominator. Likewise, if we've got a cosine of beta that we can factor out, we don't have a cosine of alpha, so we end up with a factor of cosine of alpha in the denominator. For the cosine, we can factor out cosine of beta, cosine of alpha, just giving us 1 in the first term. But we don't have any cosines in the second term, so we end up with two factors so we end up with a factor of cosine of alpha in the denominator and a factor of cosine of beta in the denominator. So if we imagine that we just distribute this back through, then the cosine of alpha, cosine of beta cancel out. If we distribute here, our cosine of betas cancel out, and we're left with a cosine of alpha. And this term, if we our cancel our cosine of alphas would cancel out if we distribute. And so if you go through and distribute again, you'll see that you do end up back here where we started. Okay. But if we cancel a factor of cosine of alpha, cosine of beta, numerator, denominator, that's going to leave us with, with our quotient identity, sine of beta over cosine of beta becomes tangent of beta. 
our sine of alpha over cosine of alpha becomes tangent of alpha and we end up with our formula, our first formula for the tangent of the sum of two angles. So we can do the same thing for um, the tangent of the difference. We write the tangent of beta minus alpha as the sine of beta minus alpha over the cosine of beta minus alpha. We use our formulas that we just recently derived, so the sine of beta minus alpha becomes sine of beta cosine of alpha minus sine of alpha cosine of beta. And the cosine of beta minus alpha becomes cosine of beta cosine of alpha plus sine of beta sine of alpha. We do the same trick as before. We factor out a cosine of alpha cosine of beta numerator and denominator. The first term has a cosine of alpha, but it doesn't have a cosine of beta, so we have a factor of cosine of beta in the denominator. The second term has a factor of cosine of beta, but no cosine of alpha, so we have a cosine of alpha in the denominator. Doing the same thing in the denominator, we've got cosine of alpha cosine of beta. We have a factor of 1 plus, and then the second term, we have no factors of cosine, so we end up with a factor of cosine of alpha in the denominator, a factor of cosine beta in the denominator. So canceling the factors that um, numerator and denominator that we took out, we have sine of beta over cosine of beta, which becomes tangent of beta. We have sine of alpha over cosine of alpha, which becomes tangent of alpha. And in the denominator, 1 plus sine of beta over cosine of beta becomes tangent of beta. Sine of alpha over cosine of alpha becomes tangent of alpha. So just through the, the algebra and the, the trig identities that we defined previously, we end up with the last two of the sum and difference formulas, that the tangent of beta plus alpha, tangent of beta plus tangent of alpha, over 1 minus tangent beta tangent alpha. Tangent beta of minus alpha is tangent of beta minus tangent of alpha, over 1 plus tangent beta tangent alpha.